And we're back. Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, is a day of mourning for the Jewish people. It is actually one of the most significant days for Jews who mark the destruction of the two biblical Jewish temples. But it's also an opportunity for self-examination and observance. Joining us on set now are Noga, Noga Brenner Samia from Bina, the Jewish Movement for Social Change, and Irina Gritzveskia from the Schechter Institute of Jewish Studies. Hi, ladies. Thank you for joining us. Shalom. Thanks for having Hi, us. Shalom. So what does this day signify to each of you? So I guess uh, Tisha B'Av catches me usually during my vacation, and I experience the biggest gap between me as an observant fast, uh, fasting morning person uh, and the entire world around me. And this gap for me is the source for critical thinking and uh, observation. So I really cherish this spiritual experience. Uh, and uh, entering into this mood of sadness and fasting and then getting out of it when the hour comes uh, is a very important spiritual experience for me. Are you able to? Are you able to get into it? I'm doing my best, uh, and sometimes it works. It's similar to other, other times of the year in the Jewish calendar, like, uh, like uh, um, the Memorial Day for the Remembrance Day and then the uh, Independence Day in Israel. There's also a fast transition. That happens a lot. Right, but there's usually uh, a holiday after that. Right. In Tisha B'Av, uh, we don't have that. Right. So it's similar and very different. It's a uh, much deeper and much inner spiritual experience for me. So this year we have Shabbat. We have, there's, there's Saturday right before, right? right. So, um, so there's some, something that comes together. <laughs> How about you, Noga? Um, so the rabbis have taught that um, the destructions of the temple occurred because of baseless hatred. Mm -hmm. And so what we try to do at the Secular Yeshiva in Tel Aviv, where I teach, it's a program of Bina, um, the organization that I'm affiliated with, what we try to do is kind of redeem the holidays and the values and the traditions from, the ancient, from ancient times and try to draw inspiration from them to, to today. So the theme like baseless hatred is something that we can really um, delve into and it's an opportunity for us to talk to our students about um, how do we, what, what really, what is hatred and what causes it today? And in today's world where there's so many um, divisions in society and such tensions among different sectors of society that lead to hatred, to rage. The tradition says that after the Messiah will come, will arrive, Tisha B'Av, this holiday will actually turn into a day of joy. Can you explain what this means? Do you have <laughs> some insight it's about It's actually uh, Zaharia uh, who says uh, that in uh, 518 uh, year BC. Uh, but uh, the question is what he meant by that. And I think what he meant by that, it's not actually a halachic decision, but uh, kind of a promise. If we repent, uh, it will become a day of joy. And the question is more urgent. When Messiah comes, maybe other holidays also will disappear and change. But what what happens now when the state of Israel exists? Uh, that's the biggest question. Professor Galinkin, my teacher from Schachter Institute, wrote a wonderful chuva about uh, this exact age-old question, whether we have to fast today when the state of Israel exists. And his answer is yes. Yes? How, why? Why so? Because uh, I guess it's connected to the Gemara uh, in Rosh Hashanah, the famous Gemara that speaks about peace. When peace comes, then maybe there will be joy uh, as you say in Tisha B'Av, are, are there any peace today in Israel? So we have to recognize that Israel is a miracle, something that happened and it changes our uh, way of observance today, but yet it's not a full miracle. We want it better. We want a real peace around here, uh, which uh, we are on, on the way to build uh, while we are building this amazing country. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Now, for Orthodox Jews, Tisha B'Av is perhaps the most sacred day of the year, uh, more important than Yom Kippur, they say, the Day of Atonement. So um, that's for Orthodox Jews. But for many secular Jews, it's a, it's a different feeling. It's a different kind of um, reaction to the holiday. Uh, Noga, can you explain to me why? Yeah. Um, secular Jews in Israel, for many of us, uh, Tisha B'Av is a challenge. 
Um, for a number of reasons. I mean, one is the most kind of prosaic, maybe a little bit funny. It does fall um, always in the summer, of course. It's the month of Av. And summer holidays, the kids are off from school. And so the education system doesn't deal with it in a, in a serious way. We don't, um, you know, go to um, plays, see our kids in school at a play, or have arts and crafts activities that relate to the holiday, as we have with all other holidays. So it's kind of up to us, the family, the parent, the media, to, to find um, and, and to deal with it. And also, I believe, um, but I think that's maybe, you know, um, the most cynical um, explanation. I think it's a little deeper than that. I think secular Israelis have more trouble finding relevance in the holiday today. Yom Kippur, you mentioned, is still, there's a very major theme of Yom Kippur is atonement and repentance and soul searching. And that, of course, is relevant to everyone, even today. On Tisha B'Av, we mourn the destruction of the temple, um, but I would ask myself, am I really sorry that there's no temple today? I'm actually, as a Jew and an Israeli, I celebrate the fact that we don't have a society that's central, uh, that's um, centric, uh, temple-centric, or that we have priests um, and animal sacrifices. So I think it goes back to the question of today. We have a state now. We, if we, we, we don't ne necessarily need to mourn the destruction of the temples when we have a state and independence. And, um, and so it does raise a lot of questions. And that's why I believe we need to find new relevance to this. And this is what Bina is trying to do in talking about social issues that relate to the holiday that we can um, kind of uh, raise to the forefront of when we talk about Tisha B'Av. But isn't it reducing the experience of Tisha B'Av, just reducing it to senseless hate, uh, hatred and social issues, and then it actually loses uh, the I importance believe we're redeeming the holiday, actually, and not losing it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you both for your insight and the input. We're going to take a short break, but please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.